Michigan, we all win. Governor Gretchen Whitmer sharing her excitement on the potential reopening of the Palisades nuclear power plant in southwest Michigan. Good evening, I'm Amaya Kuznicki. The federal government provided a $1.5 billion loan to get the plant back up and running after it was shut down in 2022. The Palisades is the first nuclear power plant to be reopened in the United States. It will provide power to households, manufacturers, and businesses, reducing reliance on fossil fuels. Not only is nuclear our single largest source of carbon-free electricity. It's one of our single largest sources of electricity, period. The Palisades nuclear power plant sits along Lake Michigan near South Haven. It's owned by Holtec International, a company that originally had plans to dismantle it. It has been a bit of a journey the past two years, going from operating to decommissioning, to preparing for some decommissioning activities and holding off on some other activities to, hey, there's a slim chance that we actually might be restarting the plant. That slim chance is now a possibility, but the $1.5 billion in federal funding is contingent on passing thorough inspections, testing, and the approval of the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. If all goes as planned, the plant hopes to reopen by late 2025. Once operational, Palisades will provide reliable power to more than 800,000 homes and help us meet our statewide clean energy goals by removing 3 million tons of CO2 from the atmosphere annually, roughly equal to the emissions of 650,000 cars. Also, protecting 600 jobs at the plant and 1,100 more in the community, driving $363 million of regional economic impact. This is a big win for America, a big win for the nation. We're going to show the world what it means to not shut down a plant, but to restart a plant. While many think the nuclear plan is a step in the right direction, others feel differently. According to the Detroit News, there were a handful of protesters at today's event voicing their concerns about the health impacts of living near a nuclear plant and the problems that have occurred there in the past, including the leaking control rod seal that caused its former owner to decommission the plant early. Now taking a live look over downtown Jackson on this Wednesday night. A cool and clear night out there. Andy Provenzano is in the Weather Center now.